Alrighty, let's bring down the sound a bit. Let's check this out. Ooh, nice run. Hold on. There you go. Yeah, it's really neat. I mean, if you see, you know, the, the picky things will be the foot will be slightly off this way, aligned with the shin, not flat, so that just on that contact, it's slightly off and then flattens. Stuff like that for polish. But it's, you know, it's fairly fast. It's not like it's breaking the shot here. As always, my notes are, you know, a bit of a mix between, ah, what changes? Like, yeah, something to think about. Love the looseness in this. this is really good. So the picky thing would be the the audio that's not quite matching this. Especially here, that first one. I've got to put on some scrubbing here. Hold on, it's a longer clip, but the scrubbing is a bit off. But that, that. I would at least have something where you open the jaw a lot more. And then you know a wider or more open mouth to so it makes sense that it's the heavy breathing <laughs> till here basically right <laughs> and even here hey that it's not quite there <laughs> for the woo it's like the usual thing of <clears throat> don't go back just one axis i would have a little bit of a whoa you can anticipate with a slight rotation why and on the way back comes back into a bit of a twirl <laughs> That's cool though. I like that. That has an angle. So it's not one axis. That's great. Ah. On that way forward, you're going to put more pressure on the hands. So as you go forward, there's nothing really in the fingers yet. So I would tighten, start to tighten the fingers to show that there's more weight and grip on these. And then careful, like that forearm points this way, but then the hand fingers point this way. So I would take that and put the fingers more here. Not right in front of it, it's a bit of a weird silhouette. You can still offset that a little bit. And even this one, you might as well bring one over. That makes a bit more sense. Uh, yes! For these, as always, facial stuff is always very twinned. So anything you can do where you favor one side, potentially, just to give it some asymmetry. Yes. That's cute, it just feels a bit slow. That. I think you can have a bit more pep and, and zippiness to those moves. <laughs> Same thing, just uh, asymmetry in the face. <laughs> I like the contrast and timing there. That's pretty cool, I like this. Brings it up and then you got a, a body move as the arm goes down. And then body move as the height changes. And then going back, it's great. <laughs> Congrats. Yeah, the only thing is asymmetry again. Congrats. Like this would be a great moment to really push that shape here and give this almost a bit of a line of action. Whoa! In the face. Congratulations. If you can, I don't know, maybe that's maybe that's a rig limitation. Congratulations. On big moves like these, and by big moves I mean like head uh eye moves where right there. That, you can probably get away with a little half blink, just so it doesn't go from one massive corner whew, to the other corner. It's a little bit of something in there. Congratulations! <laughs> and th that blink is a bit... A with, again, this depends on your <clears throat> on the rig, but you don't want to go half. Not that it's completely half. No, it's a bit lower. <clears throat> but usually you want to have maybe like 10% lower lid influence, and the rest is upper lids. And then I would ease into this a bit more. You go from here straight to here. I would ease into this a bit more. And then you can shut, bam. Take probably, you don't ease really into the close. You you ease into the the move and then shut. You know, so it's kind of small, small, bigger, bam. And then when you open it, you can ease out of that maybe a bit more. But it's mostly the ease in. Although that's not too bad here. Congratulations. <laughs> It just feels a bit even in terms of the timing. Let me see what this is. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. With a little ease in. I like that ease in though. It makes it less than organic, but I think you can take maybe a frame out of the closing that will take that basically. 
get this guy a bit lower, take this guy out, and then open there. Just want to avoid uh, repetitive timing. That's fine. Um. Probably the same thing here, huh? Yeah, I mean, that might be a rig thing. I don't know. I, don't know. I personally wouldn't do that. It's, it's kind of, you want to keep the lower list more engaged. And what is this? Let's see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And that's it ish. Yeah. So just kind of offsetting. The, um, usually the closing is shorter than, than the opening. Um. This gives it a bit of a, a robotic feel. And then it for extra polish, you would have these guys not at the same height. You know, like one would be a bit higher than the other lid. Not super offset where it's a Pixar blink where, you know, at this point, this eye would still be closed and this is this open. But it would be you're opening a bit more easing into this. And on this frame, it might be, you know, here. And the other one might be here. And then here, you're almost the same. And then you kind of reach the same point. Just um, slight variation. Where could it be? But overall asymmetry in the face. <laughs> Same thing here where I think the mouth and washes. Yeah, uh, almost a bit better, but during those, those big, hey, <sighs> I would definitely open up the jaw more. It's a good walk though, a run. Ooh, watch out here. We're getting a bit too pointing this way, forearm this way. Uh, wrist in the hand feels a bit broken, so you want to align that wrist a bit more with the forearm. And this could be either, you know, the hand is more over this like that, or the forearm is a bit more like that with the hand here. Um, where could it be? Where? Could I think since it's a where, where, a bit more energetic in the in the audio there in this just the sound energy there, I will have a little bit of an rotation up in the head where 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 could it be and even on b i would go slightly up this feels a bit more like a, a separate head move while the the mouth and the jaw do something else could it be yes <laughs> nice turn i like that <laughs> cool details watch out you're getting it feels like into ik land where you got a bend into a stretch to almost a full extension, but there's a lot of movement and angle change in the forearm while it's not really affecting the wrist. You're gonna have to move, or the hand. You're gonna have to move that around while the pinpoint is still the fingers. <laughs> Come. This feels a bit straight. It's not too bad, but it feels a bit, yeah, a bit straight through here. Uh, it feels like an Ike arm, so watch out for your arcs. Come. Especially through here, this feels like it's doing this. Come. Versus Come. art. Congratulations! Hi there! So that's cute. I like that. I like how you have the body lean over with this for nice diagonal lines. Hi there. Just generally always facial offsets if you can. Like asymmetry in terms of shapes. It's like what the mouth would be angled in different. Like favoring one side, eyebrow a bit higher than the other, one lid a bit bigger than the other. No, no. And careful in general, you have to add a bit all over the place, almost, but it's not too bad. But just again, forearm, uh, wrist. So, like, you know, when you have an arm, forearm, but then the wrist is way too bent e either way, that hurts a bit. Visually. No, no. Watch out, this feels like a very strong move this way. And then boom, suddenly it falls down here. So either don't go as strong to the left, so it has more of an arc like that, or this goes out off screen here. Um. Same thing with this one. It starts fairly strong this way. It feels like that's gonna be your arc. And then it's shoom. No. I think that's okay. If it's not super huge in terms of a zoom. It almost it's almost like you want to go a bit closer. If you can, maybe all the way up to here. Whoops, here. Just underneath that. Okay, we're zooming in. 
Okay, to me it feels like you want to go from this. Hold on, hold on. You have a slight zoom, so let's pretend we're here. Because it just feels more like a, a pop. And if I have this, I'm just drawing something to so have a a book one for my for my drawing. And let's say we cut to let's say here. How about here-ish? So it would be from here to here. See, this feels more like it makes sense to punch in versus this just feels more like a pop. Hope that makes sense. No, no, not this one. Careful with something like that again. You get your ro broken wrist angles. This one. But I do like that. I throw has a slight angle there. So it's not all one axis. It has a little slight complication. Oh, yeah. It's small, but I love it that it just helps giving this a bit more of an organic feel and less you know, simple, quote unquote, cheap in terms of just simple moves. <laughs> but again, watch out those angles, like that hand would be here and the fingers would be more like, like that. Even this guy a bit more aligned with that forearm. <laughs> Same thing here, just asymmetry in the face. <laughs> Congratulations. Whoa, what was that here? Is that a pop? That's a bit odd, unless Something else is in between, and that's just the way it's presented. But that's a bit of a weird pop here in the zoom in. Nations. Hi there. Pop. That could be a bit of a. That's not too bad. Was the hands hurt? No, he does let go. Feels like that drop here. You can cut, take a couple. Um, What's it called? A couple frames out. A bit of a harsher plop. And then it can have a bit of an impact in the head, a bit of the eggshell wobble. Woo! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> That's great. That was fun. I like that. Yes! <laughs> Congratulations! It's like a madman joker. Congratulations! Yeah, it's like so general, you know, like watch out your, your blinks and asymmetry in the face, but your body stuff is it's got a lot better. It's really cool, especially with that that um walk run here. That's all great. And just little in little moments where you, you move an arm and you really incorporate a weight shift or just a change in the body with a counter on the head and having more diagonal lines and less one axis simple rotations. I think it's great. I can see a, a big improvement in this one. All right, and that's that. Thanks. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.